Professor Narendra Pani, uh, the, the uh, issues, whether it's a, a Hindutva agenda, whether it's the issue of corruption or anything else, versus caste arithmetic in these elections, uh, what, do you, what do you believe will be the dominant factor? I think we tend to think of caste as too static a category, as if they're identifying with political parties of all time to come. Uh, I think there's much greater variability in it, there's much later fl fluctuations. Yes, some castes do stay, uh, do believe in particular parties and uh, with a much greater certainty than others. For instance, the Vokligas and, mm -hmm. and Mr. Kumar Swami's party are, are uh, very tightly uh, sort of enmeshed and they, they stand loyal to each, uh, to each other through thick and thin between elections as well. But in other cases, that's not the, that's not true. The Lingayats used to be with the Congress; they moved to the BJP. But now there are distinct signs that they uh, they are not too happy with the BJP. Part of it is the reservations. Part of it is a possible conflict between the RSS and the Lingayat Matas. So there are issues there which uh, which the elections will help clarify. But uh, I think uh, looking at caste in too uh, too mathematical a sense. Is, is actually a weakness. You're really seeing it a, a much more dynamic process. I think what is more important is that we must keep in mind that there are actually two different elections being fought, at least two different elections being fought in Karnataka. One is the election where the, and both are bipolar. One is the election between the JDS and the Congress in Old Mysore region and the others between the BJP and the Congress elsewhere. Right. And yes. uh, it depends on how those those dynamics work out. And uh, uh, right now, the Congress seems to be benefiting from the, from the grass. At least that's what the grassroots uh, indicators suggest. But uh, it's a long time to go. And, the, and JDS will have an additional strength coming in when uh, the candidates are announced because they have the ability to reach out to candidates who have been ignored by the other two major parties. So it's an it's an interesting situation that could emerge. No, it is absolutely. And, and, and I take your point that the, the caste equations are, are, are dynamic and they would keep evolving over the next couple of months.